Hello my darling divas, it's your girl Jazz at UGB82. How are y'all doing today? And I hope by the time this video reaches you, you all are blessed and all are in the best of spirits. I'm coming to you today with a product review and I will be reviewing a wig. It's from the company It's A Wig. And it is a braid lace front wig and it's for sure fiber and it's iron friendly. Okay? And the name of this style is called Braid Lace Rosemary and the color is a P4 slash 30. So um, what I was able to do is um, on the website, I was able to pick out the styles that I wanted to review. Um, I really don't like to pick out things that I know that I wouldn't wear and you know waste your time and waste my time to review something that I know probably wouldn't be of interest to anybody else so I find you know tacky in some way. But I saw this gorgeous wig and I fell in love with it instantly. Off the back, I fell in love with it. And it's so summery, you know, you go throughout the year, but it just gave me that popping look for me that I was looking for. You know, it has the gorgeous braids, as you can see in the front. And as you can see, here's the hairline. Now, it already, it came with the lace, because this is the lace front. I already cut it already. And I do have a video of showing you how to cut your lace front wigs, okay? So this is a lace front wig. And it has baby hairs, as you can see. And like I blended it out, I just left it out so that it could just lay on my forehead. So but in that pocket, you know, it does have that kind of like that perfect line, but I mean, if you could really see it up close, you would see that the baby hairs, it looks really, really, really pretty. Now the sides were sticking up after I cut it. So what I did, I used bobby pins and I used, I just placed the bobby pins inside of it, okay? So as you can see, this gorgeous curl pattern, it's curly, it's pretty. I mean, I wouldn't see the reason to, you know, use a curling iron or a flat iron on it. I mean, this is the look that I think that was basically trying to be achieved for this. And I fell in love with it. I love it really, I really, really love it. So I want to show y'all the color. So it's a P4 slash 30 color. So you can see the little highlights of the dark and the, and the light in there. And that braid just gives it like a nice look. So if you want to, you can fluff the curls out, but I liked it just the way it was, okay? I loved it just the way it was. Nothing too much, I didn't have to cut anything. It was just basically ready to go, ready to wear. Very simple. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to remove my bobby pins because I want you to see how to apply it. Because I know that some people will, come up, um, I know some people purchase it and then you know what happened is you're gonna have the problems with it with the size because that's the problem that I ran into when I purchased it when I you know that's the problem that I went to when I put it on but so weirdly now look it's it's just laying down so I guess the bobby pins helped it lay down and I took the bobby pins and now it's not sticking up anymore so that I don't even need these so I think you should do this if you probably do this like for maybe about a good I would say a couple of hours because I didn't even I only had this on for a couple of hours maybe about two three four hours the most so I would say maybe get two hours out of that keep those pins in for it to set and then you can remove your pins okay because now as you can see for yourself so I'm going to remove her and as you can see you see how simple that was and I just cut it the lace off and then as you can see She has two um, two adjustable straps in the back, okay? And because I have a small head, here are the straps right here, the two straps, and a comb in the front, one comb in the front, two combs in the front, and then one in the back. And as y'all know, with my wigs, I don't use the combs in the front. I don't have no need to put it. It just lays. My wigs just lay. So what I do is I do take, because I have a small head, I take my adjustable straps and I put it all the way. I'm going to show you in a minute. But I put it all the way as far as I can reach, as close to the comb as possible, so that I can get that very snug fit. As you can see right here, as I did right here. See, I put it as close as possible to the comb. Or, like if it's not tight enough for me, what I will do is I will double it. Like on the same little strap, on the same little hook, I will put both of them in. I'll put both of them in the strap for me to get a secure fit. See what I did? 
just to get it to be as tight so that I can get the lace to lay as flat as possible. So most, you know, like for me, it all depends on my mood. Like, you know, I braid my hair back. I can take my, my stocking cap. And you want to try to get like a stocking cap that kind of matches, but in this case, as you can see, I didn't really even need that. Because usually, because I like, I just want my scalp to which is breathe anyway, but still. You want to get something that's close to, because it's a light color, so you want to get something that's a little bit close, okay? With a new color. So I use the new color. But all I do, since it's already set, See how snug it fit? Okay. And look. It fits snug. And I just pull a little baby hairs in the front. And that's it. Now if I want to move it to the side a little bit. Look. Move it to the side a little bit. And do something like this. And bring this over. So I'm just giving you different options on how you can style her. And just have those little curls fall to your face. Like that. Isn't that pretty? So that was a cute little other little style you can do. Okay. And I, oh, I actually, I like that. I didn't even wear it like that today, but I mean, I really like that. I think this is so cute. I'm in love with this wig and it's so soft. The, oh. It's synthetic, but the, it's very soft and it's very pretty. So, I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed this cute little tip that I gave y'all, how you can style it, how you can rock her. You know, you can do it to the left or you can do it to the right, but I really like it this way and it gives it that nice pretty height and I like that. I like that very, very, very much. And that's that. Okay, well, this is a quick tip with Juju and I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you purchased. So you can go to www.itsawake.com and you can find this gorgeous wig and her name again is Braid Lace Rosemary and the color is a P4 slash 30 and it's Futura Fiber means that you can curl it on a certain amount of heat. And for me, like I said, it's curly so I really wouldn't even use a curling iron. I don't feel there's any point. The the style is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So ladies, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.